name is Brett Jacobek and I've been for about three years now. Legacy has always been a community-based project for me. It's a place that we want everyone to come into the gym and feel comfortable and safe and enjoy a game that has given so much to myself and the others around me. So Legacy was a project for me um, through teaching. I actually went to school to be a teacher and then during the pandemic I was able to find this opportunity that allowed me to educate kids and people through a different avenue than what the school system does. So I basically get to be a gym teacher that has his own space to work with kids in programming. I was definitely started playing in elementary school, probably grade five or six. Had a father that coached basketball, which made it really easy to kind of get into the game. Basketball was huge. It taught me a lot of life skills that translate into everyday life. Work ethic, resiliency, how to work with others, all those kind of played into factors that build who I am today. Well, Legacy opened right as the pandemic was nearing its end, so the COVID-19 pandemic definitely was a challenge to get through. But some of the other things was just getting people to recognize us, being able to try us out and kind of let us really prove ourselves to them. Just getting our names out there took time, but I think I think people really appreciated what we did once we were up and running. Uh, my name is Nick Marshall. I've been playing basketball since I was about eight years old, so 18 years so far. Uh, the founder of the league, Brett, he used to play at Concordia, so I knew him through that. And then he eventually sent me a message saying that he's starting up his own league and buying his own gym and things like that. And he asked me if I was interested in playing in the league, and I said, of course I was. Joining the league was super easy. Uh, he just sent out a, a Google Doc to everybody. And then I didn't really have anybody to play with, and Brett set me up with a, a few guys that I've been playing with for a few years now. And you know, I've built, built friendships with these guys and grown closer to them, so it's been a lot of fun. Same way that we talked about emotional and mental well being, having a space that people can go to where they feel comfortable being themselves uh, is incredibly important and valuable to us. So we try and really create a space that allows everyone to come in and feel welcomed and comfortable in, in being themselves. So when I first showed up to Legacy League, I was super nervous because I didn't know anybody and I didn't want to be kind of the odd man out because the other guys on my team have been, have played together before, they've been friends prior to the Legacy League, they went to school together. So I was really nervous coming in but they just kind of accepted me in the group as soon like my first game there, the, as soon as I walked in the gym, they, they realized that, kind of what I realized later, that we're all here to do the same thing. So it kind of helped me not be as nervous meeting new people and that, you know, every interaction isn't going to go exactly how you expect it to, but at the end of the day, it's important to have those interactions. So basketball has helped me get out of a low point in my life um, just through community. I was, uh, I went through a breakup and I didn't have a ton of friends up here um, for since I'm from out of town and the basketball community kind of helped me build those friendships and gave me someone to lean on rather than just sit and stew in, uh, in the things that were happening in my life. So it kind of helped me relate with my teammates, ask them questions because if they've had similar experiences that they can kind of help me out. So I would say the community 
uh, is kind of the most important thing when you're going through something like that. Obviously this project was created with my wife, Jerry Jacobek. This place is not what it would be today without the support of my wife being able to help build this project. We had to quit our jobs and jump into a entrepreneurship venture that wasn't really established before we kind of opened up this place. To have someone that supports you and your goals and your dreams emotionally and mentally, having someone to have your back is incredible and this place wouldn't be what it is today and wouldn't have even got off the ground without her.